This is my Creality K2 Plus. Here are some prints I'm working on to show off to you guys. And I'm over here preparing a whole slew of different videos, talking about some really, really, really fun stuff with the K2 Plus, except at the moment, this is the state of my K2 Plus. Here is my extruder. Here is the rest of my extruder. And here is my extruder stepper. So what happened is I'm printing the Blob Lab Owl. I'm using Overture Turbo PLA Brown and I'm using Esun Bone White and the machine starts throwing up errors. So the first thing I try to do is get that filament out by getting the Bowden off. I want to get the Bowden off right here and just get that filament and get it out of there. Oh no, this absolutely won't budge. No matter how hard I pull, it won't budge. So then I try the buffer, nothing. This side of the buffer, nothing. CFS, nothing. Filament is all through it and the teeth will not retract with the filament stuck through it. Here's another great problem. Because the CFS was top loaded, I have to get it off in order to get access to the hot end to even try depressing the coupler at the top of the extruder right here. Because then I can heat up the hot end, depress that little clip and pull the Bowden tube out. But wouldn't you know it, you have to take the cover off to get access to that ring because it's positioned this way. And you can see they have this loop of plastic blocking you from depressing the ring. So you have to pop the cover off to gain access to the section in front, which doesn't have that. However, no such luck. I can depress that all I want. This tube absolutely won't release. So every single tube from the CFS to the hot end won't release. And guess what? Here is the CFS because I can't get the tubes off and the default setup is too short to side mount it. So guess how I do it? Like this. It's just long enough for me to run it like here and stand it on its side. I disconnected the buffer cables to the CFS and just left the boat in because I can't get it off, stood it on its side. And I'm telling the K2 that we're working off the spool. It doesn't have to know that this is here. But what I really want is to get one of these connections off so I can break the filament away from the CFS because it's stuck here hard and nothing I can do to get it to budge, nothing at all. So I wanna break it free of the CFS by cutting it somewhere and I can't do that. So what actually happened? Here's the hot end. I don't believe there's a clog here in the hot end. So I separated the extruder from the motor and took it apart. As per usual, we have these microscopic, fragile little connections that are just long enough to fit, no extra cabling to bring the part out and carefully work on it. So I had to get those disconnected, but no, no. Oh no, there's more. And they're connected way here in the back, on the top and inside the board. So to get them all off and remove the motor is a pain in the ass. I took off just the ones I needed. However, the hot end is simply four screws and then pops out fairly easily. The heater and thermistor wires are much easier to connect and disconnect. Their ports are right here. I'm also disappointed to learn that the stepper motor and extruder are much more difficult to remove than the K1 and K1 Max as well. I was hoping for progress on that. The good news is the tool head cover has no screws this time, pops right off. That's a really nice move by Creality. It is held on by two little magnets and apparently this is a feature we are going to need to use. And here's what I'm looking at. This is the inside of the K2 Plus extruder. I got it apart. What I find interesting is there's a warning right here. Caution, spring may pop out. Well, isn't that nice? There appears to be a piece of filament broken up inside this little hole right here. Not entirely sure, I can't see it. Um, however, the filament is stuck. My plan hasn't been to do service videos right now. My plan has been to continue my series of informational videos. So 
rather than do service videos right now. I will attempt to get this thing back up and running as quickly as possible off camera so I may resume shooting those informational videos. And once I make some progress on that, we will take it all apart so you guys can learn how to do it too when this inevitably happens to you. I know some of you on the internet will turn this into a series of Creality Sucks comments. I have no interest in that. I hope to get past this and get my K2 back to working order. Should this turn into something that is a common problem, I hope that myself and the community can work with Creality to make revisions to resolve this problem similar to things we resolved at the initial launch of the K1. All right, so here is the lever of the extruder and here is the gear. And between there is where I said the filament was stuck. So I'm gonna yank this off. I just did this off camera and like they said, the spring went flying. I attempted to reassemble it so I could show you how to remove it with the spring still on. So far, I have not been able to get the spring back on. I will learn to do this off camera and we will work on it together in a proper service video in the near future. However, do you see it? That's my jam. This blob is actually attached to the filament so it can't go forward or back. The filament is anchored in place through this blob. Before you all lose your mind, I had this exact fail on my Bamboo Lab P1S extruder. However, on my P1S extruder, it caused so much damage, I had to replace the entire extruder. My K2, on the other hand, detected a problem and threw an error message, stopping the print, and it looks like in time for no damage to be done. I'm going to go ahead and get in here with clippers and, f and cut this blob off the end of the filament. The gear was able to come off, which is great. There it is. This looks extremely similar to the filament path on my P1S extruder. However, on my P1S clog, it was stuck inside the little passageways between here and the nozzle and between here and the Bowden tube. And all of this was warped and blown out, had to replace the whole thing. Looks like this extruder is good. I'm gonna put it back together and we'll shoot a full step-by-step -step service tutorial another time. But for now, I do think my K2 Plus will be ready to go back in action. What caused this problem? I really can't say, but it is what it is. And I'm looking forward to getting back to work. With the blob removed, I'm going to attempt to depress the extruder coupler and remove the Bowden and the filament that's stuck in there. Finally, my extruder is free. All my Bowdens are now letting go and I can remove that filament from the K2. I will clip this off, put it all back together and just use the AMS to retract this filament. When I had this clog, one thing I noticed was this buffer super tight could not do this now that it's no longer stuck i can do this so if your buffer is not moving you have a jam don't mess with it locate and fix the jam the reason i cut and removed the filament the way i just did rather than just manually pull it out from the cfs the way i would if it was an ams is because it's stuck even depressing this lever here doesn't release it it absolutely won't move so I'm just gonna put it back together and let the AMS retract it itself.